I'm trying to remember when they actually announced this. When they announced the PlayStation 5, this is one of the videos that they showed. And this is about the same time during that that I tuned in to that live stream. This is the main reason that I decided I'm going to buy a PlayStation 5. I don't regret that seeing as I've blown up three, well, two Xboxes and now they won't warranty it because there is a cooling issue with each one of them. I have less than six hours over three consoles for the Xbox and the PlayStation has been fine. So still without a PlayStation Series X because the first one had no casing, no holes in the casing, the second one overheated and shut off so that was replaced and the second one is doing the same thing but they won't replace it because three's the limit apparently. It literally just been used for Barrow. Yeah, kinda glad I did buy a PlayStation but that was for Ratchet and Clank. I tuned into the live stream about this about this point and it was literally it walked over the cat goes meow and that was it. I was buying a PlayStation. And I mean, come on, look at the graphics of this thing. Yes, I have enabled audio for this, and yes, I'm regretting it because that's where all the issues can come from. But it's literally, I tuned in about this point, and it sits there and it just goes, that was it, I was buying this game. That was 2020, the beginning of. Yes, I'm one of the lucky people who actually got in and managed to get my pre-order in as soon as it was added for where I live. I followed these people on social media and everything else, so when they showed what I'm going to call the second trailer here, and yes, I'm aware that I'm very, very late to this, I missed this massively. And I went back and seen it. Why did I miss it? Because like everybody else, I was kind of gutted that this game did not come as was expected as a PlayStation 5 launch release. Okay, fine. That was, again, 2020. Expected it sometime in 2021. And it was after this that they turned around and basically said, it's, it's not a PlayStation 5 exclusive. It's coming to PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. Xbox, I'm hearing rumours about. Unknown. More than likely, this is going to release on all platforms. So I'm really glad that I went out and I spent $450 on the PlayStation 5 for this one game. Um, if I'm being honest, I wanted Ratchet and Clank as well. So I would have bought one anyway, but I was expecting this as a launch title just on the PlayStation. Yeah, didn't happen. <laughs> didn't even release in 2021. But B12 there, that little robot, is what the backpack is that you see in the previous trailer. And that's where your interactions with the... I really don't know what you would call them. The char other characters in this. I don't want to say the NPCs, but the other characters in this. But you basically play as a cat throughout this, and I have said for years, somebody is going to make a game where you explore open world style as a cat. And that game is going to be absolutely massive. Since this game was announced there, I have come across four or five others that have tried to do it, but haven't got to the same level as this. Yet. It will happen if they keep delaying this game, but the more I see about this, yes, the more that I want to play this. You have to remember that... I'm not going to say I'm a cat person, because I had... Yes, I said had. Dogs as well, as a cat. But, yeah, the internet and a cat game. This is a massive no-brainer here. You, you stream this and people will be watching you because you're playing as a cat. A realistic-looking cat was the kind of big thing about this. I really hope they don't do a lot of the things I'm hearing where it comes to customization and you can change what your cat looks like so you can play as different breeds and everything else. Like, no. Just make it this cat, the one they've shown the whole time. I mean, come on, look at it. A skateboarding cat. <laughs> it even has the shake to get the enemies off. Yeah, I am still hooked. I am still going to get this game, 
The problem is I don't know where. If it is going to be releasing on PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox, Switch, Steam, I'm probably going to buy this for the PlayStation, but I'm never going to play it on the PlayStation. Whatever these enemies are, if UV takes them out, they shouldn't be outside during the day. Which, I don't know, yeah, yeah you were when you were in the uh, little channel before. And I've got to go back and have a look, because this is actually inside, there's a roof here. Ever so slightly, so I wouldn't say this is outside, plus the lighting, same here. It's outside, but it seems this whole game takes place in darkness. Right here, where, yeah, a, a frightened cat that jumps backwards would puff up. The tail would puff up. Same there. A curious cat would still have some kind of puffiness. This, I never saw this cat do this during this game. I'm hoping that is something that they fix, but I mean, if we just concentrate on the graphics of the actual cat during all of this, yeah. I'm looking forward to this game. I will be playing the hell out of it, and this may actually be the game that gets me back to streaming, because I will be playing this, but I, I may do videos on this. I probably will. Not really sure on that. That's kind of the point of this. If I make videos on this, would anybody be interested in actually watching a playthrough of this? Because every playthrough I kind of have done has basically been shit-canned on my favourite one. Probably the best one I ever did, which was Ori in the Blind Forest. I got permission from the people who made it to use the music and everything in it. They actually contacted me over it, because YouTube was copywriting everybody. And Microsoft wouldn't give me permission to do it. And... There's certain points of this that I kind of realise if we get to here, watch, B12 comes flying across. Never noticed that before. Just watching these and doing this has made me realise a lot of things that they are talking about now were actually in the original trailer for this game. It, the graphics look amazing. The gameplay looks amazing. I'm looking forward to it, but as time goes on, will that continue? Oh yes. And with that, I think we'll leave this off here. Come on. Ah, oh, damn it. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.